Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on your time zone. I welcome you once again to Ini TV. We are global and social commentators. Today, we want to talk about the Eastern Security Network. We want to talk about the IPOP. We want to talk about the problem in the South East. I have followed Onanda Magzi, Onanda Kanu's case. I was one of those that said that protest is the voice of the unheard. When people are protesting, when people are agitating, any right-thinking government should listen to them first before you tell them yes or no. You listen to them, see if there's... They might not be 100% right. They could be 10% right. And you address that 10%. Why are the Igbos? The Igbos are the Nigerians who live in the South East. Igbo-speaking people. I am not sure how many states they have. I think they have about five, six states. Because the Cross River, Rivers, and all the other stuff says they are not Igbos. It depends on how you look at it. Some will tell you they are not Igbo, some will tell you they are Igbo. So the Igbos have about five or six states. Fine. The truth of the matter is they are a major speaking ethnic group in Nigeria. We have the Hausa, stroke the Fulani, then we have the Yorubas, we have the Igbos, then we can cover another group which is the South South, because the South South has close to four or five states too. The average man from Edo will tell you he is not in support. He does not align with significant the Igbo. Same with Delta. Everybody in Nigeria should be significant. And if you come from a major tribe, you should be more significant. If you look at it, Hebrews have really not been involved in governance. And if we talk about the federal character, the quota system, it's important that the Igbos also are given a chance to. That is why the Igbos, majority of them, felt they have been neglected. It could be right, it could be wrong. But call them together, dialogue with them, and let them know. Uh, we should not expect Igbos to have a major post when it comes to the ministerial post. Because if you look, I think we have close to 36 states. And Igbos form about five or six states of it. So, if you look at it, let's do a little mathematics. Five states out of 36 states. Igbos are just like 20%. So, if we have like 10 ministers, I expect Igbos should be like two or three. Three. But the situation where we have close to about 25 ministers, then two are Igbos, it means it's not properly distributed according to our 1999 constitution about the federal character and quota system. So it was logical that the Igbos were agitating that they want to have more relevant but in this channel we have said we are not in support of the way 
Omnade Kanu went about it. We have said we are not in support of Magze Omnade Kanu. And we are also not in support of the response the government took because two wrongs does not make a right. So, why are we making this video now? Because it's not all, but we believe IPOP represents majority of what the Igbos really think about their future in this country. We also have the Eastern Security Network, which is like the militant group of, we don't know if it's part of IPOP or not. But it's the militant group that is operating in the East. And they have said, because as long as Ona Dukanu is in jail, they are going to make the East ungovernable. They are going to make the East here. But there is a proverb in my place. I am from Edo State. And there is a proverb that says, if you kill a sex a fly, you also hurt yourself. And if you miss, you still hurt yourself. So that is why Eastern Security Network should slow it down. Whatever action they are doing now, they are hurting themselves. This is an opportunity that an Igbo man, there is, there is more possibility today that an Igbo man might be the president of Nigeria come 2023. So don't spoil this chance. With the likes like Peter, Obi, a lot of people, I've done my uh, uh, survey, a lot of people have said if it has to go to the East, Peter Obi is a good candidate. We here has also said uh, Kingsley Mogalu is also a good candidate. You know, so this is why we are making this video. IPOP, Eastern Security Network, are not being wise are not being intelligent if you are intelligent this is the time for the easterners to come in as president and if you spoil this chance if you spoil this chance you might not get it again why we can I if two really wrongs does not make a right we can also say three four five wrongs will not make a right. I am making this video because of there is an Igbo military personnel that was going to Imo State for their wedding. Somewhere along the line, they came across the Eastern Security Network. And because they were putting the military uniform. They attacked them, killed them, and beheaded them. And they came out and claimed responsibility. Are you stupid? You're killing your own just to prove a point? Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Remember, so four years back, on the canoe told Igbos not to come out and vote. Majority of them did not, you know, because of fear and all the rest, didn't come out and vote. At the end of the day, what happened? You're giving a chance for other parts of the region to always control the affair of the country. Look at what is happening in the East. The Eurobars are calling themselves saying, let us not fight against ourselves. You are fully aware of Oshumba and Joe has come out that you want to contest. And Jagaban is also there. 
people are calling these two people secretly to then uh, let not divide the West. Let's unite because this is the only way we can be able to pursue our own to Asurok. That is exactly what the Igbos should be doing. They should come together if they are intelligent enough. Come together. Push one person. There is a possibility when you come together to push somebody to Asurok that when you are divided. That's my message. Let's be intelligent. Let's be wise. If you guys say you don't want because you want to leave, you don't want to be part of Nigeria. Before you know it, you will keep not producing somebody to that office of presidency. Because if you're going to do a referendum as a talk, a referendum is not going to be based only on the East. It's going to be the whole nation that have to decide. Because Nigeria is an entity. There have to be a referendum of everybody deciding, do you want part of these people to go or no? You know what I mean? So, that is why you cannot change a system if you are not in there. If Igbos are wise, Easy. if Eastern Security and Network as much are as wise, possible, back an Iboma to see how they will get to the presidency. But if you guys say you are not interested in the presidency, good enough, <laughs> better for us. It gives us only two options left. The South-South and the West. So, this is how the cookies crumble. For our brothers from the East, this is Ini TV. And for Nigeria and the world in general, if it's the first time you're seeing our video, we welcome you and we'll ask you to subscribe after you subscribe just press the notification button so that each time we upload videos it comes directly to you and for our regular subscribers we say thank you thank you thank you we're one big family and remember we love you but god love you most and like it is the culture here, we will catch you when we make the next video. Until then, chooks, adios, au revoir, hasta la vista.